Now on to our another major story, that train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. The potential for catastrophe leading to a tough decision by leaders. A short time ago, they decided to release the pressure inside the rail cars carrying some of that dangerous material. They may be wondering where East Palestine is. So we're going to show you a map here of this small village, the crash site and its proximity to Pittsburgh. Really, it's only about 50 miles away from downtown. It takes less than an hour to drive to. And let's zoom in on that evacuation zone. This is a one mile radius around the derailment site. As you see, a good portion of it is in Pennsylvania, it includes part of Darlington Township, Beaver County. Now tonight, both Chris Hoffman and Shelley Bortz are in East Palestine covering several angles of this story for us. We're going to begin with an update on the situation after that controlled release began. Uh, Shelley Bortz is live with those details. Shelley. Yeah, now, Ken, we just got confirmation from Norfolk Southern that the uh, controlled release has been completed and it was successful. Now, it was just after 430 when we heard a very loud boom out here, looked up and saw intense flames shooting off in the distance. Now, that's when officials say the controlled release actually took place. Now, there's still a huge plume of very thick black smoke filling the sky above the derailment site. Now, it's very quiet out here right now and we're not smelling anything in the air. Now we're told the burning, that's what you're seeing with the thick smoke, is, is uh, probably could last for at least a couple hours they're saying, but the controlled release itself is complete. Now there was eminent danger, which you guys talked about, uh, to folks living within a mile radius of the site, so the governor of Ohio ordered immediate evacuations. Now five of the derailed train cars carrying vinyl chloride, now that's a chemical that is unstable and could explode. Now the governor was very concerned it could possibly hurl toxic fumes into the air and shoot deadly shrapnel as far as a mile away if any of those rail cars exploded. Now we're back out here live. Uh, probably can't really see but off into the distance you're looking at the aftermath of the controlled release. Now that burning that we're looking at again it's that thick black smoke. Um, they're saying that it could go on for another couple hours. But just so you guys know out here, we heard that boom about 440. Uh, we haven't heard anything since. It's very quiet. And again, we're not smelling anything out here. We're just still seeing that smoke again that could last out here for a couple more hours. But again, stay with us on this story. We're probably going to have more as we get new information as the days go on. Uh, so stick with KDKA News uh, on air and online. But for now, reporting live in East Palestine, Ohio, Shelley Bortz, KDKA News. All right, Shelly, thank you for that. Thank you for all your coverage there today.